This was a pretty healthy snowfall for us, and we actually saw more snow from this last night than we had for the entirety of the calendar year of 2023 here in the metro area, which saw snow totals of around one to three inches. I have had a couple of reports isolated of about four inches in parts of southern Indiana, but near Campbellsburg, Kentucky, and north of Bedford, about three and a half inches. Charlestown, Indiana, about 3.3 .3 inches there, and a little bit less as you head around a few other locations. So those locally higher totals, as we said would be possible south of Milltown about two inches Fox Chase Kentucky picking up about an inch and a half. So anywhere between about one to four inches across the region is what we picked up. But as we look outside right now up in Scottsburg, you can see the flag there flying in the breeze, which is pretty steady out of the northwest. That's bringing in some colder air temperatures in the teens across southern Indiana already, and we're seeing those numbers continue to drop as that air blows into Kentucky too. So we have wind chill values that are close to below zero in several areas. It feels like zero in Paoli, one degree in Hardinsburg, one degree wind chill in Jasper here in the metro. It feels like a balmy four degrees at the moment. Checking out Max HD radar. No snow is falling right now outside of maybe a few bands of some light flurries west of I-65, but we've noticed those even beginning to diminish here over the last hour. Otherwise, the more organized snow is well off to our east as it uh, continues to fall there in the Appalachian Mountains of eastern Kentucky. Kentucky. As we look at future cast for the rest of today, you'll notice our temperatures continuing to drop. We'll be in the teens by around 530, still underneath that fairly cloudy sky. But overnight, clouds will try to break up just a little bit, and that's going to be very important when it comes to our temperatures. When you have snow on the ground and a clear sky, your temperatures fall even further than they otherwise would. So we should see widespread numbers down into the single digits for tomorrow morning as we wake up, but it's going to feel much colder than that. It's not going to warm up too much in the afternoon. Afternoon. Highs tomorrow only around 20 degrees. Some likely staying in the teens. Sky will clear out for Saturday night into Sunday morning. We should still wake up Sunday morning to those air temperatures down into the single digits for most of us. But we do start to recover slightly Sunday afternoon back into the upper 20s. But thankfully, a lot of sunshine around. So at least it won't be a gray day for us. Here's the scope of that wind chill advisory in place starting tonight until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. All of Kentuckyana and and no surprise when we see those wind chill values seen in that small pink number there dipping well below zero. Some parts of southern Indiana could even see a wind chill factor as cold as 10 degrees below zero. So it is going to be cold tonight once again and another cold day tomorrow, which will see those wind chill values only recovering to the single digits to the lower teens. If you're not a fan of this cold weather, I do have some good news for you. A big warm up is coming our way. We've got to get through this weekend first with those temperatures only in the 20s back to seasonal levels on Monday, lower 40s, middle 40s Tuesday, and then look at this middle 50s as we reach this time next week. The catch it's going to be coming with some rain. Rain showers likely Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, possibly even continuing into Friday. So our active January weather pattern continues, except now we're replacing the cold and snow with milder temperatures and soaking rain.